doing? Mal, can you talk about your presence in the lane? Uh, basically, I just came in and tried to affect the game uh, the best way I can, using my abilities. And obviously, I know Coach wants me to protect the rim, and I felt like we needed it because it was a it was a slug fest the first half, really low scoring. So I felt like it was just something I could add, and I was focused then. So. How, how much would you say you've gotten better defensively? Uh, I think I gotten a lot better defensively, partially because I have no choice. You know, I want to play, so mm -hmm. um, I feel like those is one of the things that I could use to my advantage since I'm so athletic. So really, I just been trying to be a better teammate, uh, come in, change the game defensively, and then it usually helps my offense as well when I'm locked in defensively, and it gets you in better position for rebounds and just a lot of things, and just makes you a better player. And I'm a junior now, so I need to be relied on in tight games because defense is what really matters when it comes to the gritty. Because like today we couldn't score and. Sometimes, you know, as a big man, the guards are doing well, so you need to affect the game any way you can. Did you like coming off the bench and being able to kind of be physical and challenge shots and seem to get your team going when you, when you were able to do that? Uh, I really like uh, my coach Francis told me it doesn't matter if I'm starting coming off the bench. Really this year, I, I just want to focus on coming to the game and affecting the game. I feel like a lot of times in my career I've played and not done anything, not being effective or playing in spurts. Really, I want to have my hands on the game in a positive way. So that doesn't mean I have to take every shot. I can get a rebound. I can block shots. I can steal a ball. I can tell somebody's screen is coming, help defense. Just make sure that my presence is felt and that I'm contributing to the game in some form or fashion. What did you take away from playing in a, a lineup where you had three guards out there? You had Mike, Anthony, and Devin all out there on the court together. Uh, I mean, that's how I played in AAU. I had a, you know, I was basically playing a five. I saw I was guarding Jared Sullinger, and then mm -hmm. we have four guards, so it doesn't bother me. And I'm not, you know, I have really good quickness, mm -hmm. so I really don't see it as a challenge. I just see it as, you know, it's just a different lineup, it's speed out there, and I can use it to my advantage, and that means there's little guys on the other end as well. What did you take away from seeing Gisele and Clemens out there together? Considering I think Anthony played like the last 15 minutes. I mean, Anthony was playing well, and I keep telling him that you need to just show people that what you're made of. You know, a lot of people don't realize Anthony's a talented basketball player. I think it's just him understanding the learning curve and you know picking it up and limiting mistakes which freshmen make I understand that you know so basically that and Mike you know he's a scoring guard and today we needed him to score he was open they packed the paint so the perimeter was open he was able to knock some shots down so I'm happy for the ball for them. Are you trying to work that baseline J into your game more? Uh, yeah I usually make them in practice and today <laughs> Three of them went in and out. I had a trailer one that went in and out. One of them went down and out. So, I mean, I'm going to just keep shooting. I'm not afraid to shoot. I shot him. I shot one at the end. I made it facing up. So, really, I, I know I'm a pretty good shooter from 16 feet. So, you know, you miss some, you make some. As the season goes on, just keep working on my shot, staying consistent, and I should get good results.